Everybody who wants to fertilize their landscape has a yard, right? And do you know it's important to know the size of your yard? It's hard to believe, but we're going to talk about measuring a yard and, and figure out why we need to do it. I'm here with Kelly Greer, and she's with the Florida Friendly Landscaping Program here at the Orange County Extension Center. Kind of a neat morning, huh? It is. Well, a good day to get out there and measure the landscape. Why, why do we need to measure this? I mean, this may be a little atypical. This is one of our demonstration areas here, but it's big and it's square. Why should we measure it? because you need to know how much fertilizer to put on per square foot. If you put on too much, you could damage your grass. Or if you and if you put it. on too little, <laughs> yeah. then you've wasted your money. Yeah, so we've got to figure out how to measure this here. And you know, what are some of the techniques we can do? Well, you can pace it off if okay. you know your pace. Yep. Now, look, um, and my, what's your my pace, pa Tom? My pace, I figure, is about 36 inches. I, you know, and you have to just kind of go striding along like right. this here. Yeah. What's your right. pace? It's probably a little under 36 inches, but because I know that, you know, I can accommodate for that as I walk. And you yeah. want to walk natural when you're fertilizing. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty good way of measuring mm -hmm. other yes. things. Now, when you get that information, then you multiply it out and you get the length by the width of the area, right? Right. That's yeah. correct. I guess you could get a really long tape measure. Yes, you could. And you could run that out and put together all those feet and figure out how many you know, square feet you or, have. Or, this yes. is a fun machine here. It is fun. I mean, you can go pacing along with this. And it, this is what, a counter? It yes. Keeps, keeps track and you mm -hmm. reset it and everything mm -hmm. of that And nature. you just walk along, do your length and your width and put it together and you have your square feet. Yeah, but, you know, this is a rectangle here. Yes. Suppose it's not a perfectly shaped yard. Most yards aren't perfectly no, shaped. No, they're not. So what I would do is take your biggest flat, square, rectangular shape, measure that off first, and then measure off some of those smaller pieces and they could be curvy they could be in a rectangle but then you need to add all of that together. you may need your high school math or more you might have to have that. <laughs> okay so when we get all this we multiply it out we get our square feet what do we do next now with the fertilizer now that we have our square feet we can figure out how many pounds of fertilizer to put on per square foot yeah and that's why it's so important to read the label on your bag of fertilizer and that's on the bag there yes and that it will, is that will help you out actually sometimes the bags have spreader settings which yes. can help you out they do things of that nature or you can go ahead and measure it out uh, now we have a scale we can just you can weigh it out with a scale mm -hmm. and then you dump it into your uh, fertilizer spreader right right yeah now how much do we need I guess we figured that out from the label here we do so this is a 15015. so in Orange County Florida we want to put on about a pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet. So divide 15 into 100, mm -hmm. and then you've got how many pounds you need, Yes. and uh, the way you go, you're ready to fertilize, That's right? That's right. Good, Kelly, thank you very much. And uh, you know, now you know why it's important to measure the square footage, and you can figure out how much fertilizer you use, so you're not polluting, very important.